Hey adventurers, welcome to another episode of In Skyrim. The sun is up. Well, almost. Lawn's shack. Victory shall be ours. These bandits have no idea what they're in for. had a mace. Why weren't they using it? been here before. Well, and another character. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> you will miss me when I'm gone. Traps have been set off and 
opened up. Where is this guy? This is gonna be difficult, isn't it? The only thing worse than a fool is a dead man. Lilador, the Vazil of Elkinos. Great. Don't even think about it. Think about what? You have to be more specific. Nair is not a mind reader. But Khajiit confesses he has not tried. Perhaps if you would let him rip open your skull. Ha! Ah, hope you're willing to back up those words with your fists. Nair doesn't back up his words with fists. This one uses his claws. You're a fool to fight me. How unfortunate for you. Nah, thanks for the assist. You don't look like bandits. What brings you here? I'm here to rescue you. This is good news. It will save Nair the trouble of doing it himself. And so many of you. Are you all here to help Nair? Today is truly his lucky day. We're just adventurers, here to do a good deed. Ah, adventurers. This makes sense. Nair is glad he will not have to kill you. After all, this one is popular with certain types of men. Bandits and bards, sail swords and swindlers. And sometimes even, the Dalmor. Don't worry about her, she's just here to kill bandits. That's poor advice, Cretin. <laughs> the Furball should be worried. He should take great pains not to give me a reason to kill him, considering what he's done. Ah, Nair understands. He would do his best to keep his words respectful and polite. Khajiit wouldn't want any... premature deaths. Thelma said you had information. Is true the double, double agent? He's there. This is what the rumors say. Perhaps Nair started them. Lucky for him, the elves cannot turn off their ears when he speaks. Why well, tell the Thelma that Jurelith was the double agent? Why indeed. Perhaps because he knew she was innocent. 
A lie is best told with only a sliver of evidence. It plants just enough doubt to bleed you out from the inside. You think yourself clever, Cat. But the only reason you're still alive is because you're worthless to me dead. Nair understands, and he apologizes for using you. He did not realize the name he spoke belonged to such a... beauty. You may not know this, and but she I'm ignores Nair. He was only dead. trying to be nice. So <laughs> Perhaps she but would prefer he claw her eyes out I instead. It was his soul that Arcade claimed instead. Why approach the Thelma at all, given their reputation? Nair did it at the behest of a client. He set a price they could not meet, knowing there would be consequences. In fact, you might say he was counting on them. Ah. They said you're a mercenary. Is that true? Nayir prefers to call himself a salesman. It just so happens his most valuable item is himself. Uh. Oh, perhaps fate's willing I'll shop at your store soon. Nair is pleased to hear this. He is always looking for new clients and new scratching posts. <laughs> uh, why didn't the bandits kill you along with the Thelma? They were desperate for the name of Nair's client. This one put it in their head he would hire the best of them. This was a lie, of course, but the job is real. What's the job? Nair is glad you asked. However, this is not the time or place for such a discussion. Perhaps if the three of you would accompany him to Falkreath? Forget it, Rug. I have no interest in your quest for pointless trinkets. Be thankful I haven't roasted you alive. Tell me, Thalmor. Do you really think it's a coincidence Nair spoke your name? Of all the Thalmor he has met in his travels, why yours? You may have a point, but I have no time for riddles, Furball. What are you getting at? All will be made clear when we meet my client in Falkreath. The same goes for you, Bosmer. Me? What did I do? Do you really think that Tharmor imprisoned you over a song? Nair is the one who gave them your name. In fact, as this concerns all three of you, Nair asks that you all attend. The fourth member is already there. And if oh. we don't? Oh, that would not be a good idea. Nair is very protective of his client. It would not like to disappoint him. Say no, and Nair might do something terrible. Like, put about your indrains <laughs> and feed them to crows. So please, try not to keep his client away then. <laughs> Debt of blood. <clears throat> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It doesn't look like that. What is it? Customizable camera. I think it's too far out. Alright, that's probably better. Okay, Falkreath.
Morrigan's here. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Uh, I think we gotta wait for someone. Building structures is not just functional. There is art and beauty in every facade. Untold every pleasures place. await you. Mm. We do keep pleasant company, my darling. At some point we should hire Tekla on here. If she could just spend less time serving Dengir. Ah, I wish I could afford to pay you both, Nari. I really do. You okay? We're waiting for the other guy. The fourth. Why Not is... everyone has artist eyes. Mm. I see. Sculpture in the stone, and only remove the extra. Okay. A good morning to you. Or at least as close a morning as we come with these strange hours that we keep. Yeah. I trust your exertions were worthwhile. <laughs> Definitely. I found it so as well. You have a charming enthusiasm, which bodes well for such evening pastimes, I think. Far more pleasing than simple lust. I'm lucky to have found you. You are not so terrible for a male. If my sister saw me melting before male, they would flay me bare. Okay, good to know. Oh. Did you miss me? How could you not? In what skimpy outfit will you have me wear this time, hmm? Alright. You will miss me when I'm gone, will you not? Is he ever going to arrive? <coughs> hmm, maybe teleports up here after you talk to Morrigan. Hello. All right. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? You got me. I'll pay me bounty. Smart man. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. Pay the tax. Oh my god. Well met. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Griffith and I are playing hide and seek. Tell 
terrible. I can't even tell who's hiding, who's seeking. Oh, we're both hiding. The monsters are seeking. You're not a monster, are you? Uh... He's still not here. I'm sure he's supposed to be there, but he's not for some reason. Figured they might bring you here. To see you okay. Any idea what this is about? It might have something to do with what we did on the ship. But if that's the case, why are we still alive? <clears throat> At least Morgan seems to be enjoying herself. Yeah. It's good for her to be around other children. But at the same time, I can't let her get too attached. I can take you. Still, it doesn't seem like these people want to do her harm. Now we just have to find out what it is they do want. Okay, what do we got? It's a dragon. I can take you. Okay, I don't know why Griffith wasn't at the proper location. long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? <laughs> I say we stop now. Okay. We can rest here. I see you have learned much in your short lifespan. Reverting back to your old self, are we? No. I apologize once again. This change is not easy. It's hard to trust someone. To not dominate as my kind does by nature. I am still drow after all. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Good. You're all here. It's not often I leave Cyrodiil for anything. But given what's happened, You've left me little choice. I trust you all understand the gravity of your offenses. The only thing I understand is that you're the one responsible for wasting my time. Or is there some other person I need to kill to end this meeting? Ah yes, the Thalmor. Or ex Thalmor. I was told you'd be the most difficult to wrangle. It was just outside this very inn, was it not, that you murdered my father's steward? Of course, the guard said was a duel. I have a hard time believing that. I kill a lot of people. I make it a point not to care. That attitude is fine if you have the Dominion to protect you. But those days are over. You may be strong, but you're hardly invincible. No one's invincible. Not even you. Ah, Danilin Hokalo. The bard who can say aggression. But it isn't your politics that brought you here. It's your gambling. About a season ago, you took a large sum of drakes from a merchant under my father's employ. That money was supposed to go to bodyguards for a caravan headed to Rothbine Manor. Without the bodyguards, the caravan was easy prey for a certain vigilante. It cost my father quite a large sum in gold. Then you should bring that merchant here. He's the one to blame. Quite true. But he's already dead. And while I can't blame you for his gambling habits, 
I can blame you for cheating him. Or is the ace in your boots simply for show? H how did you... There's nothing I don't know, Bosmer. But yes, yours is a minor sin. The assassins, on the other hand, is another matter entirely. The two of you, after all, are responsible for killing my father, the Baron Cabania. Hmm, hardly. As the bastard child of the family, I barely knew my father, and what little I've heard doesn't cast him in a flattering light. No, my issue is that your little act of vengeance cost his business, nay, my business, a large sum in gold. I'm here to seek restitution for that sum. No, but my sister will, and that is who I want you to eliminate. Uh. You want us to kill your own sister? I want you to kill my father's daughter. She's a vile woman, make no mistake about that. But that may only be relevant to Okalo, given his moral compass. The larger point is the four of you owe a debt, a debt of gold and a debt of blood. To pay it, my sister would ask that you take your lives. I would ask that you take hers. <sighs> Your sister? She and I share a much different opinion of our father, and inherited much different traits. My sister has her mother's passion and her father's bloodlust. As long as she's alive, your friend will never be safe, regardless of what Sithis thinks. Where is she? At one of my father's manors off the coast. Nair will provide you with the details. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business I must attend to. After all, there is more to saving our fortune beyond stopping my sister from spending it. But I want to wish you all good luck. Hopefully when next we meet, it will be under less clandestine circumstances. All Not right, let's say eyes. we agree to this. I, see the I take it you have stone. a plan? And only remove the extra parts. Naturally, as his client mentioned, the target lives on an island just off the coast. As a At former military outpost, the place here. is heavily fortified, she could just but not impossible to enter. And I suppose you uh, would have a small to through the front gate. Really do. There is art and Actually, there the are two separate Every ways column. into the main chamber. One is the back door, an old entrance that runs underneath the fort. The Baron has been using it as an emergency tunnel. Of course, it is littered with traps that can be more perilous than any sword. And the other? The other is the front entrance. As you might expect, the way is blocked off by a garrison of elite guardsmen. Yet both traps and men can be evaded if your feet are light and your tongue is sharp. And what path do you suggest we take? It is entirely up to you. Nair does not believe in gutting bellies with daggers when you can use your teeth, but he realizes not everyone thinks as he does. It is best to let you choose your own way. Well, I think we can all agree that sneaking around back like cowards is not an option. I agree. Not about the coward thing, but the sneak out back part. Not all of us are light on our feet. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, hey where are you going? By Yifri, what is his problem? Doesn't he realize we have to work as a team? We don't have to do anything. Especially if the idea comes out of your mouth. We just need to kill everyone on that island. Or we can try it my way first. That makes sense to you, doesn't it? If my plan fails, we can still kill everyone. In fact, we'd pretty much have to. Fine. Tell us your grand plan. I could use a good laugh. Well, as a card player, I think I'm pretty good at reading people, even if I've never met them. The Baron's daughter lives on an island. People like that are paranoid, but they're also extremely bored. I'm sure she'd love some entertainment every now and then. Maybe her brother sends us as a gift to his dear little sister. Nair thinks this can be arranged, but the others are not bards. One wrong move and your heads will be used to decorate the pikes. Ah, but what if we weren't just bards, but rather traveling artists? In our group we have singers, actors, and jesters. We perform songs, acrobatics, and comedies. 
And for humor, you always need a straight man to play off of. The Thalmor's perfect for that. And what makes you think I can play this straight man? Because all you have to do is stand there and be yourself. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is we earn a trust. Maybe even get her to become an active participant. So you want <clears throat> to get close to her by having her perform with us? Exactly. The only question is what to perform. I doubt she'll let us shoot a sweet roll off her head. What do you have in mind? Do you know the story of Fiori and Holgier? It ends with one of them getting bit by a snake. Usually a man plays a snake and kills Fiori with a prop dagger. All we need to do is make the death real. By the time they realize she isn't acting, we'll have escaped the manor. Nair likes it, but what about our brooding friend? I'll think of something. Improvisation is what an actor does best. Well, it sounds to me like your plan is idiotic. Which is all the better, seeing as I'll get to kill more monkeys. Good. Nair will arrange for the leather and the costumes. Simply come to the docks in Windale when you are ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speak to Griffiths. Where the hell is he? Is he coming? Right, he's here now. There's no end to it, is there? Seems no matter what I do, she's always going to be in danger. what you signed up for when you saved her life. I signed up to be her protector. But it's different now that I'm her father. It's not just her life I'm trying to protect. It's her childhood. Okay. <laughs> Look at her. I haven't seen Morgan this happy in a long time. I used to dread these moments. The quiet times. Because I knew they wouldn't last. Now I realize that's the wrong way to look at it. Nothing lasts forever. Just knowing these days still exist. That's good enough. It gives me a reason to keep going. I don't want to hide anymore. Not from the Brotherhood. And not from Gabonese men. Turning down the job? Yeah. I guess I am. But I don't want to leave you high and dry either. <laughs> Tell you what. I'll talk to an old friend of ours. Have him meet you at the docks. If anything, you'll be better off with him. Let me guess. Rains? Well, he finally arrived.
Good Lord, didn't anybody here subscribe?